Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, Antonelli here. Hey, what's going on, everyone? How you doing? Man, Antonelli here. Today, we're looking at a ready position. We're going to look at the third base position today. So we've looked at the shortstop position before. And now we're going to go over to corner infielders, in particular, third base. Now, the big difference between third base and the middle infield is third base is a reactionary position. It's a typically a one-step and a catch or a dive position. The middle infield, you're going to be running around more. And so at third base, one thing you're going to be is a little bit lower. So you can see how much lower she is. If you're in the middle infield, well, you can be taller because you're going to be running all over the place. It's not going to be just a one-step and a dive position, okay? So she's lower. Now, let's back up here a little bit. So she kind of does this. This is a little bit of like her style, unique part of it, right? She kind of gets low, sticks her glove out, but then she gets into a more traditional position that we teach, okay? So what is the position? A couple of things. One, I want to be chest forward, right? So I want to be chest forward. I want to be, I want to be knees bent. I want to be athletic. I want my feet to be square. Right, straight across, square. One mistake I see happen sometimes is that the right foot will be ahead of the left or vice versa, and now the infielder is able to move one way better than the other. So I got to be completely square. Okay, so I'm completely square. Now, players will do this in different ways as far as this hop right here. So I usually go left right hop. Some players will just kind of sway and hop. You can see she just kind of gets low like this, and then she hops. But I think it's important to hop or split your feet, right? So this is a little bit more of a splitting of the feet instead of just hopping. I'm fine either way. So if you watch tennis, where this is starting to come from is, is from the sport of tennis. More and more teams are starting to instill this. More and more players are starting to do this. Um, but in tennis... Tennis players are returning serves, you know, 100 plus miles an hour. And they have to be extremely quick off the ball, right? Even more so than a softball player has to be. I mean, the ball comes off the uh, off the tennis racket 110, 120 miles an hour sometimes. And so you've got to be extremely quick off the ball. And so if you watch a tennis player, what they'll do is they'll st they'll kind of sway and then they hop or split their feet. And they're reading the ball while they're in the air, right? So she's in the air reading the ball. The ball's being struck right now, and she's reading it as she's in the air, okay? So it's either left-right hop. Some players do right-left hop. I like left-right hop. Or it's just sway and then split the feet. I'm splitting the feet as the ball is coming through the hitting zone. I'm reading the ball off the bat with my feet coming down. That's the key. Read it with your feet coming down. Okay? Now, before we get into the rest of that, hold on one second. As far as upper body, glove. We teach thumbs up. Okay? Why thumbs up? Because thumbs up are a position to run. So I'm going to have to run. So like even here where she's only going one step, she still has to run, right? Crosses over. She's in a running position. All right, and so especially again for middle infielders who have to run a lot more, you want to be thumbs up in a position to run. Now at third base, you're going to have to run. You're going to have to come in and get balls. You're going to have to cross over and go hard. Like, and so it's not just a step in a dive position, even though it is a little bit more. It's more than the middle infield. But thumbs up, running position, ready to go. A lot of players have their glove on the ground. Problem is, 99% of the balls aren't going to be hit where you just stay on the ground. You're going to have to get up and then run. You're going to have to get back into a running position. So why not start there? Okay. I also see glove out in front a lot up here. Problem with that, again, is that's just kind of like a fake ready position. My glove's out front, but when i got to move, i got to pull it back into a running position and go. So it's wasted time. So thumbs up. Okay, so now let's talk about why. This is the one question I have. People say, why would you want to read the ball coming down? You're going to be late. Why wouldn't you want to read the ball on the ground already? Well, they've done, they've already done research on this for both the sport of tennis and now for softball and baseball. And when you come down, if you were to come down, if you were to come down and land like this and then try to read the ball, her muscles are now 
not as springy, not as elastic. She's not able to quickly make a decision and move. When she does this, she takes the slack out of her muscle. And so now she's able to read. And the second she says right here, go to the right, boom, she's able to go much quicker than she would be if she were to be in this position. Because now she has to prep the muscles to move over it, all over again, right? You're not able to move quickly when you're just sitting there flat footed, right? You've got to prep the muscles and then go. This is prepping the muscles to move, and now she's off. So they've already done studies on it. And if you watch tennis players, tennis players don't read the ball from the ground. They read the ball. They're coming down while the ball is being struck. And so that way, what you should see, if the infielder does it right, you should see that they should not land and then go someplace. You can see right here, right? As she's, watch this. As she's coming down, 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 she, right there, she says, balls hit this way. And so now she's going to push off the left foot, right? Her left foot lands before her right. Why? Because she knows she needs to go to the right. That's how you know that she's coming down right at the right time. And so now there's no hesitation. There's just, boom, push off the left foot, cross over, make the play. Okay? I know sometimes it sounds a little strange. Um, people think, oh, she's going to be late if she's not down on time. But people a lot smarter than me have already done all the studies and looked at it. And again, you can go watch tennis and watch the best players. And this is what they're doing. So really nice play there. So hopefully that makes sense. Let's watch it again in normal speed. Chest forward, athletic, thumbs up, split the feet. Again, if you're a middle infielder, you're going to be a little bit taller. Corner infielders can be a little bit more chest forward. Nice play. All right, so that's all we have. Hope that helps out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. You can also email me at matt at antonellibaseball.com. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. All those good things. And we will talk to you later.